All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, we're saying that I want to first and foremost give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Kahalal, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Waha Rakak Badash. Makes double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessing to you, sincere Akim's man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability. Regardless of people here for a bear, it's like um like two something in the morning. You no, know, woke up through the spirit of your how about you know shot to do this edifying lesson, Lord willing. You no, know, Lord willing, brothers will be edified. This, um, another GMS on the go. This is called um We shall laugh when famine and destruction come. We shall laugh when famine and destruction come. Because that's what's coming. A famine is coming, death and destruction is coming. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American is two thirds. Y'all are done for, man. Okay, y'all didn't want to take heed to the words that you have about Shimei Now you're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna die by way of famine. You know, you're gonna die by way of where the sword, which represents death and destruction. You're gonna die by way of cannibalism. You're gonna die by way of the race riots. You know, you're gonna die by way of the guillotine. You're gonna die by way of the martial law. You know. You're going to die a horrible death out here, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, for not taking heed to the words of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. But the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, I'm part of that, starting off with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We shall, we shall laugh when famine and destruction come. When death and destruction come, guess what? The elect of the nation of Israel is going to laugh, man. Why? Because Yahweh by Shemiah was shot is going to take care of them, man. And I got some scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh, but I'm trying to bring out. Lord willing, brothers to be edified. So you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that's out there doing the best you can, pushing hard as you can, pushing Yahweh, but I'm trying to the best of your ability. You have nothing to worry about when death and destruction and that famine come in. You know? So, so stay prayed up, man. Stay prayed up, man. Yahweh, but I'm trying to deliver his elect. So, so we're gonna hop right into it. This is Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse forty-nine. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine. So a whole lot of people, you know, what I'm saying, gonna be kicked out in the streets soon. Come a whole lot of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are gonna be kicked out in the streets soon. Come you rich people, you athletes. You know what I'm saying you ballers, aka you so-called ballers. You know what I'm saying? These um, elite congressmen of our nation, you're going to be in poverty soon come, man. Meaning you're not going to have anything soon come, man. You know? The rich people of our nation, man, you in for a rude awakening, man. If you're not covered by your how by Shemiah Rashad, man. Like the Floyd Mayweather's, you know. And the ones of our people, you know what I'm saying? To know the Israelites like Nate them. All these false teachers, all these false leaders like Nate, Bubble Eye, Blackfish Face. Which is the leader of the GOCC, and Nate is the leader of the IUIC, and General um, Gehana, the leader of the um, IUSPK, or however you say that alphabet group name. They're going to die by way of famine, man, and poverty, man, okay? What it say again? Because this is what the Lord Yahweh Shai is bringing. Yahweh Bashim Shai is bringing, right? Once again, not, peace ain't coming, man. Peace is not coming. All these things that I'm reading right here, this is what's coming. Once again, 2nd Ezra. Chapter 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood. And what, what is that going to? A whole lot of women's husbands are going to die in the, um, in the Third World's War, man. Okay? That's how a whole lot of women, you know what I'm saying, going to be alone in that day, man. The days that we coming in. You got, you know what I'm saying, you got the majority of our people, they fighting this so-called white man's war, right? Well, they're not going to come back home, man. So it's going to be a whole lot of women without husbands. Widowhood, right? The fruit of proud the Marines, right? Well, the majority of them ain't coming back, man. So it's going to be a whole lot of women out here without husbands, man. And look, and look, and let's see if you um, want to be the head of the household in that day when all hell break loose, right? It says, um, and look, it said plagues or so enough diseases, man. To, man, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. You have about Shemar Shot got some cooking up. He cooking something good up for America, man. It said, I was saying plagues upon thee. Widowhood. Poverty. A whole lot of people gonna be on the streets soon come without nothing to eat, man. Okay? It says famine. So so a famine is coming. And the scripture tell you, you know what I'm saying, it's better to be be killed with the sword 
you die by way of famine. Let's get that right quick. Let's get Lamentations right quick. And then we're going to come back. We're going to come back through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Abba Ratazah. This is um, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. Yeah. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword, with the sword represents death and destruction. Could be a pistol, a bat, a gat. You know what I'm saying? Any way of being destroyed, right? They that be slain with the sword are better, are better than they that be slain with hunger. But that's what's coming. A whole lot of our people is going to be slain by hunger, man. Meaning a lack of food, man. You're going to die because there's a lack of food, man. All right? And you, our people, you know what I'm saying, is bugged out, man. Because, hey, the food ain't real, man. So why wouldn't you think that a famine could come? A family can come overnight, man. It's only like um, three days worth of food in the grocery stores, man. Okay? And then that food, don't even, it ain't even real, so it don't even last long. By the time you take it home, sit it in the cupboard, two days later, you know what I'm saying, the bananas, you know what I'm saying, getting brown. Because it, it's GMO foods. So what makes you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians think that it can't be a family? The Snoop Doggy Dogs, you know what I'm saying, the Dr. Dre's, you know what I'm saying, the... Um, Kendrick Lamar's and all of them, man, the Beyonce's, they're going to starve out here soon come, man. The Lil Wayne's, they're going to starve out here soon come, man, by way of famine, right? So they're going to go through this right here. Once again, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. And you can, you can throw these fallouts, these guys that fell out, these bug outs, you can throw them in the scripture too, man. They're going to die by way of famine too, man. They're going to die by way of the sword, man. But it says, um, you be better off dying by the sword than by famine. Why though? For these pine away. Meaning your body start eating off itself when it ain't getting no food, right? It craves for food. Stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. Yeah, your body craves food, man. So when your body ain't getting food, what, what it's going to do? It's going to start eating off you. But that's, what, that's what's coming. Man, a whole lot of our people are going to die. Man, all these superstars, basketball players, athletes, rappers. The young thugs, you know, things of that nature. Y'all going to die a horrible death, man. But the name of this title is called what? We shall laugh when famine and destruction come. Meaning the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, I'm part of that, man. So going back, finishing it off. 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 49, once again. I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood. Going, going into the, um, the World War III. A whole lot of women going to lose their husbands in World War III. You know what I'm saying? And, and all the other things that's coming too, like the race rights. You know what I'm saying? Man, cannibalism. These, a whole lot of men going to die, man. And these women going to be out here stuck all along, yo. But you thought you had it together, right? We're going to see in that day, right? It says um, poverty, famine, sword, death and destruction, right? And pestilence. To waste thy houses with destruction and death. So when death and destruction come at an alarming rate, which is it's on its way, man. And you can't stop it, man. Can't nobody stop the death and destruction that's coming here to America and throughout the four corners of the earth, but mainly here in America. Can't nobody stop it, man. But when all that comes, I'm saying the elect of the nation of Israel is going to laugh at it, man. Because look, guess what? This is what we've been wanting. This is what we've been praying for. This is what we've been hoping for. We've been hoping for all these things to come, man. And Lord willing, I'm saying, hey. I'd be one of that number, man, one of the elect number to make it through that. But the elect of the nation of Israel is going to laugh when death and destruction come, man. When that famine come, when that race riot come, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to laugh, but two-thirds y'all going to be in poverty. You know what I'm Everything that I just read here, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to um, be in poverty, widowhood, poverty, famine, the sword, and pestilence, enough diseases, enough plagues to waste their houses with death. It's like you to waste their houses with destruction and death. So that's all that's coming, man. Death and destruction. Why? Once again, through the spirit of your house, by Shem I always make this statement. All hell is breaking loose throughout the four corners of the earth, but you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans still playing around, still lollygagging, still ain't getting yourself right with the God of the Bible. But it's all by design, though. Because your house, by Shem don't want the majority of our people. And all you fallouts, all you bug outs, it's been taking this word for light and for joke. You're going to get caught out there too, man. This is um, Job chapter 5, verse 22. 
at destruction. This is what made me name the video right here. I got the title for the video from this scripture right here. Um, the name, once again, the name of this video is called We Shall Laugh When Famine and Destruction Come. The elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Once again, Job chapter 5, verse 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. When, this, when death and destruction really hit this place called America, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to laugh, man. Okay? They're going to laugh, man. They're going to laugh at all you mockers and you scoffers and you, and you two-thirds, you know what I'm saying? The majority of you women that's catching pure hell, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to mock and laugh at you, man. You athletes, you false prophets, you false teachers, you church pastors. Man, y'all going to die hard with death over here, man. Death and destruction, poverty is coming for y'all, man. And y'all don't even know it. Y'all about shooting out shot and setting y'all up, man. For that great fall, man. Once again, Job, chapter 5, verse 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. I right, look, the men of the Lord ain't going to be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Why? Because they're going to have that mark of exemption, man. You know what I'm saying? From the Hebrew word, the wall, which means the, to be exempt from judgment, man. Okay? Went well, right back to Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. Set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that signed the cry. You know what I'm saying? So the, so the beasts of the field, the lions, the tigers, the bears, oh my. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be getting that unique roles, Latinos, and Native American Indians. They're not going to touch the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, I'm part of that, man. And this scripture right here brings um, joy to my spirit, man, to know that all these things are coming and that, Lord willing, I have a chance to make it through it, man, by doing the works that you have, by shooting out shot. And you most definitely got to be part of the elect regardless, right? I got to read that again. Job, chapter 5, verse 22. And it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Through the spirit of you have, by shooting out shot, got me doing this lesson, man. Constantly warning our people. Turn back, man. Repent, man. All hell. Look, animals are going to be eating y'all soon come, man. Do you realize that you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians? Do you realize, you, you don't realize that animals are going to be eating you soon come? Why these pastors telling you it's peaceful days are coming? You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing going to happen to you. With the, with the God of the Bible, the words of this Bible are saying something totally different, man. Okay? The, the words of this Bible are saying that you're going to be ate by animals, man. Let me read this again. Job chapter 5, verse 22. At, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shall why. You no know saying why we're gonna laugh in the, in the time of famine. Cause you have by Shemar Shai is gonna feed his elect, man. My servant shall eat. I got that. I got that's one of the scriptures I got on deck. Just hold on. Be patient. Hold on. Job chapter 5, verse 22, once again. And, and it's all about repetitiveness, man. You gotta keep bringing these words out, man. You gotta keep pushing this word out, man. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Look, two-thirds y'all mocking right about now, but the elect of the, of the nation of Israel is going to mock you in that day. They're going to make fun of you in that day for not taking heed. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. These, these zoo animals are going to get loose so come. They're going to tell you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are alive, man. They're going to eat you alive, man. You better start watching those National Geographic channels. And see how the beasts of the earth really get down, man. These birds going to be pecking your eyes out, man. What? It says, um, for thou shalt be in league, verse 23. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Why? Because you have, by Shemel Shai is going to have his spirit on you, man. So the beasts of the field, meaning these wild animals, are going to be at peace with you, man. They're not going to harm you, man. Just like in the days of Noah. The beast, you know what I'm saying? Um, Noah had pretty much control of the animals back then, man. So you have Hashem Yashai is going to put a spirit on the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, to where when they're beasts of the field, no matter how hungry they are, they're going to leave you alone. Just like in Daniels and the Lions did, man. We got prime examples of how you have Hashem Yashai put a spirit on these animals to not touch his anointed, man. But two-thirds, y'all, that's y'all ass, man. That's y'all ass, man. Okay? You don't, you don't really get it, man. They're going to tell you from limb to limb, man. You don't know, man. But then you got our people still playing around. Not trying to take heed to the words of the Bible, man. Hey, once again, the name of this GMS on the go is called We Shall Laugh When Famine and Destruction Come.
Lord willing, I'm part of that number. Let's get into the next scripture, though. Since I mentioned the beast of the earth, let's get that Jeremiah right quick. Let's get that Jeremiah, the 15th chapter. This is Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 3. And I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Look, the sword to slay, meaning death and destruction, and it's talking to, this is referring to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This is what the Lord has prescribed for you, man, okay? The sword to slay, and the dogs to tear. These wild animals, you see these dogs running around in packs and all that, man, gathering up? They're going to be eating you people soon, come, man. And you ain't got to believe it, and you ain't got to believe it, man. You ain't got to believe the words of the Bible that we bring out. We can the Lord got us constantly bringing this word out, man. And two thirds, you know what I'm saying, don't give a damn. But you're gonna wish you would have took heed. This is um Romans chapter three, verse three. For what if some did not believe? So what if some did not believe these animals gonna get loose and start eating you people soon come, man? Okay? So what if some didn't believe that a famine is coming, a race riot is coming, plagues, poverty, death, the sword? You know what I'm saying? So what if some didn't believe that they're going to get carted out of their house soon come? Poverty is coming for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Why? Because this is not our rest. And this place has to be brung down low, man. It has to be destroyed. So during the midst of all that, you're going to get cast out of your houses, man. And, and cast into a concentration camp, man. No matter how big you are in society, man. Including you church pastors, man. The Lord is not going to deliver you in that day, man. Because you've been teaching lies to our people. You been telling our people that ain't nothing coming but peace, man. When all these things that I'm reading are coming, man. Death and destruction, poverty, widowhood, plagues. You know what I'm saying? So once again, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Yahweh forbid. That means no. Just because you don't believe in the word, that don't mean that it ain't going to come to pass. These words are most definitely going to come to pass, man. It says, um, Yahweh forbid, yea, let the most high be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and, the, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So going back, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 3. And I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So these aren't my words, these are the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, right? Saying what he going to do to his people, right? And then you got people, you got people coming on the comment board talking something. What, what, that, that's not right. Why are you saying these things are gonna happen to your people? Where's the love? Where's the love? Shit, love is keeping the commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. So yeah, ask yourself that. Where's the love for you have by Shimei Shai, man? Okay? All you rebellious Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, everything you don't read it is coming for you, man. Okay? Look, the sword to slay. And the dogs to tear. And the fowls of the heaven, meaning the birds gonna get down in you. Many of them eagles. And I um I watched a video, you know what I'm saying? Um Apostle Um Gabar turned us on to a video, you know what I'm saying, about this eagle, you know what I'm saying, that was so strong it picked up a um a goat and dropped it off the um side of the um the cliff. You type in type in um eagles. Eagles um the most deadliest eagles, and it, it'll pop up. So if a if an eagle can pick up a um a goat. Which is way um, heavier than a, than a, um, a human. W what you think gonna happen, man? When those eagles and these fowls of heaven get really hungry, man, they gonna come after you people, man. They gonna eat you and your babies, man. It says on um, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And we already read in um in Psalms, well, we read in um Job. We read it in Job. I think it was Job, yeah, Job 5, you know what I'm saying, that um, we're going to be, at, the beasts of the field are going to be at peace with us, man. Lord willing, we part of that number. But two-thirds, the beasts, you know what I'm saying, of the field, you know what I'm saying, is not going to be at peace with you. So that means death, man, for you, man. That means death for you. And ain't no beast, you know what I'm saying, was created to devour and to destroy, man. And, that, and that, that's heavy within itself, man. So let's get Psalms 33. Because the servants of the Lord are going to eat, man. But two-thirds, we can't say that about two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You motley scoff for the last time, man. 
you didn't take heed to the words of the Lord. None of you actors, none of you elites of our people. You know what I'm saying? You creep show dollars, TD snakes, all y'all gonna die all with death, man. Straight up, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. This is Psalm chapter 33. We started out 18. Behold, Psalm chapter 33, verse 18. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, is upon them that fear him. And what's the eyes of the Lord? The angels, man. The angels are constantly watching the elect of the nation of Israel, man, to make sure they're teaching the right thing, you know what I'm saying? And making sure that they're most definitely protected, man, okay? It says, the eyes of the Lord, behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, is upon them that fear him. And you got to fear you have by Shemiah Bashai, man. It says, um, upon them that hope in his mercy. Yeah, we most definitely hope in, in the, that you have by Shemiah Bashai show us mercy, right? To deliver their soul from death. You know what I'm saying? We're praying that you have by Shemiah Bashai deliver our soul from the death and destruction that's coming here to America, man. And to keep them alive in famine. And to keep them alive and famine. So that's one of our prayers, man. That Yahweh Bashim Yahshua show us mercy. You know what I'm saying? And keep us alive during death and destruction and the famine, man. Because that that's exactly what's coming, that famine, man. It's going to get you people, man. Verse 20. I'm going to read 19 again. Psalm chapter 33, verse 19. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Why, you know what I'm saying? Because the ones of our people that do die by way of famine, the scriptures tell you, you know what I'm saying, Lamentation chapter 4, verse 9, I read that, that dying by way of famine is one of the worst ways that you can die, man. That's one of the worst ways you can die because you that's a slow, horrible, and, um, antagonizing death, man. You know? It says, uh, verse 20, Our soul waited for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushan. He is our help and our shield. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushan is our help and our shield, meaning that's who's going to protect us in the day when all hell break loose, man. When that famine come, when that race riot come, when cannibalism come, when death and destruction come, guess who's going to be on our side? Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. That's why we put our trust in them, man. Okay? And I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you better get it together, man. That famine coming, that race riot is coming, and the elect of the nation of Israel is going to laugh when it do come, man. So this is Psalm chapter 37, verse um, 18. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shemiah was shy, north the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Evil meaning what? Bad times, right? Evil meaning time, ill meaning bad, right? The elect of the nation of Israel, the ones that took heed to the names of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah and his word, should not be ashamed in evil times. When all hell break loose, you ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. Especially because you've been pushing his word, right? Especially if you know you've been pushing his word to the best of your ability. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is, is pushing, pushing hard. You shouldn't be ashamed when all hell break loose, man. Because you, you know you've been doing what Yahweh by Shemiah Shah required you to do, man. Okay? With two thirds, they're gonna be ashamed, man. All these fallouts, all these bug outs to stop teaching the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, they're gonna be ashamed in that day, man. In the evil time, meaning when bad times come, which we're living in bad times now, but Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is gonna turn up the heat. Two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, y'all gonna be ashamed in that day, man. Y'all gonna be ashamed that y'all didn't take heed to the words of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Y'all gonna be ashamed, man, in that day. The Nate snake them, the TD snakes. The Al Sharp Tongues, the Jesse Jackass Jacksons, you know, Bubble Eye Black Switch Faith, the leader of the GOCC, you know what I'm saying? All the, all the men, you know what I'm saying, that knew this truth and stopped teaching this truth, you're going to be ashamed in that day, man. All you fallouts, all you bug outs, man. You mean eating your kids soon come, man. Once again, Psalm chapter 37, verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, meaning the elect of the nation of Israel. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Why? Because the scripture say, my servant shall eat, man. You know what I'm saying? My servant shall eat, right? Look, but the wicked shall perish. But the wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to perish, man. Okay? You're going to perish. You're going to starve. You're going to starve. 
It's good to say, my servant shall eat, man. I'm going I'm to read, read 19 again. Psalm chapter 37, verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Why? Because you have by Shemel Shai going to give them something to eat in the day of famine. Two thirds, y'all got to eat. Y'all got to eat bodies, man. Y'all gonna resort back to cannibalism, man. Okay, eating your kids, eating your next door neighbor, eating your own self, man. Verse twenty. But the wicked shall perish, man. The wicked of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all gonna perish, man. Y'all gonna die a horrible death, man. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Bible, man. And I got, I got one more that I wanna read. I got one more that I wanna read. Let me get this on um, Jeremiah, the 65th chapter. And I'm going to finish it off here. Take heed, man. Hey, look, all these things are coming down the pipeline. And the only um, entity that can deliver you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, is your how about Shemel Rashad. Well, Isaiah. Isaiah 65, Salakia. This is Isaiah chapter 65. Let me see where I'm going to start at. Um, Salakia. Yeah, 13. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, look, these aren't our words. These are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We just reading them, man. Take heed, take heed. Listen up. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who even he called God and Jesus Christ, so called black man. Behold, my servants shall eat. The servants of the Lord, the ones that's doing the biddings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, guess what? They're going to eat, right? Mm -mm -mm. But ye shall be hungry. But the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that didn't do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to be hungry in that day, right? But ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. You're going to die by way of thirst, man. You two thirds, man. Y'all in for it, man. Y'all just don't know, man. Y'all in for it, man. Y'all in for a rude awakening, man. While all these pastors is telling you that peace and safety is coming, we telling you, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, that death and destruction is coming, man. That famine is coming. A race riot is coming. You're going to die by way of food. You're going to die by way of thirst. It says, Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Why you why the servants of the Lord are gonna rejoice? Because they're gonna eat in that day. They're gonna drink in that day. You know what I'm saying? And why are you why are two thirds gonna be ashamed? Because they didn't take heed to the words of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Henceforth the title of the video. We shall laugh when famine and destruction come, man. Okay? Pursuant to Job chapter 5, verse 22. You know? That's a heavy scripture. I'm going to read it one more time. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, two thirds, y'all gonna be ashamed in that day when y'all start catching pure hell and when you start dying by way of famine, man. Okay? 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. Yeah, we're gonna sing praises and give praises to Yahweh, but you know, shot for giving us something to eat, for giving us something to drink, right? But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to be vexed soon come, man. You will be howling, you're going to be crying till you howl about Shemel and Shai. But the Lord said, I'm not going to hear your prayer. I'm not going to hear your prayer. You didn't want to take heed to the law, the commandments of the Bible. I'm not going to hear your prayer. Let me see if I can find that right quick, and I'll close it out on that. What is it, Proverbs 28? You didn't want to take heed to the words you have about Shemel Shai. Now you all of a sudden hollering and screaming. Tell my Lord this, Lord that. Nah, man. Too late now. Too late now, man. 
And that's one thing about the Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. Y'all always wait to the, the end of everything. Y'all wait till all hell break loose. Then you want to... No. Proverbs chapter 28, the water you have by Shemir Rashad. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So, so you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that didn't want to take heed to the word, or you was taking heed to the word, but you stopped taking heed to the word. When you pray to you, when all hell break loose, you're going to try to pray to your high about Shemir Rashad, but he's not going to answer your prayers. Because why? You shut your ear away from hearing the law, man. So now your prayer is an abomination to him. Your prayer is a wicked, filthy act to the God of the Bible. He don't want to hear nothing you got to say now, man. Once again, it's the last scripture. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Because what the pastors teach that the law is done away with, right? You church pastors, man, y'all going to catch prayer hell. Y'all got a lot of blood on y'all hands, man. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be an abomination, man. So your prayers, the prayers of two-thirds, all these fallouts is an abomination to your how about Shimei Shai, man. Just remember that, man, okay? And once again, the name of this GMS on the go is called what? We shall laugh when famine and destruction come. Lord willing, brothers will edify. I'm saying you fruit sisters that be listening, just listening, not talking, just listening. Hope y'all was edified, man. Hey, that famine is coming, a race riot is coming, plagues, death and destruction is coming. Take heed to the words of your how about Shimei was shot while, while you still got time, man. You see, this is not a game. This is deadly serious, man, okay? Hey, with that, man, I want to give all praise once again to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, Kyle Lau, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, Waha Rekar Kodash. Next double honors to the head of apostles and elders of great millstone. The ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere icons, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability. Hey, trusting and believing in your how about Shemiah was shot. Once again, the name of this GMS on the go is called what? We shall laugh when famine and destruction come. Shalom.